Okay, so what we have here are all of my flowers. Um, I do have a few still in the attic, but this is a majority of them. Um, they come from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anytime there's a sale or I just need a filler, I am going to grab them. So um, I'm going to make three wreaths today. Um, and a lot of people, including myself when I first started doing this, uh, get a little bit nervous when it comes to grouping colors. You may know what you like, but not everything looks well together or cohesive. Um, so a good trick to use, especially when you're beginning doing this, is to um, just grab the color wheel. And you can find them online. Essentially, they just, um, it's essentially a wheel that has all of the, um, the majority of the colors, not those fancy colors like bright teal lagoon or something silly like that, but um, a majority of the um, colors we use every day. Um, and then they're grouped together. So I would take the first two or three that are near e nearest to each other um, and begin making your bouquet that way or your color palette that way. Um, you can also jump around their strategies for you know, adding different colors and blending warms and cool colors, but I would stick to the basics if you're starting off. So just grab colors that go along that wheel. So for instance, pink and purple are nearest to each other. So that would be a, a great color combo. Um, pull up your wheel. I'll insert a photo of what it looks like and then just go to town making your different arrangements. So I'm going to make three. There'll be three varying color combinations and then um, I'm actually putting them on these uh, table chargers that are made of all metal. Let's get started. Okay, so I think I got I have my color story all together. So this is one grouping. It's yellows some creams, um, a little bit of orange, and then uh, this turquoise pop. Um, and then I got my purples and pinks um, here. And then here I have um, more yellows, but this is more of a, a brownish taupe type yellow. Um, some browns, uh, cream of course, and then this pretty pop of blue, it's really small. And then as far as the wreaths are concerned, I'm actually using these chargers. Um, they are plate chargers, so they go on the table for table settings. Um, and it's hard to see them. Let me see if I could fix this, fix that. Let's see. Eh, it's still hard to see. But anyway, they're metal chargers um, made completely of metal and they're from uh, Target. They were on clearance. They're the Joanna Gaines collection um, and they're all black so I have three of them um, and I'll weave my or somehow affix my flowers to them so that I could have the three wreaths and I'll put these in front of the three mirrors I have in the living room so okay so it's time to start assembling um, our new wreath we have, I picked my colors and I have like these pinks and creams, um, greens and purples. So that's gonna be my color scheme for this particular charger, um, turn wreath. So I'm going to start with my longest pieces first. So they're taller and they will weave through this a little bit better. So I wanna find my center piece because eventually I'm gonna tie a ribbon to the top. So I want an opening that's big enough to fit my two and a half inch ribbon. So I'm going to settle on this being the top. Center, straight bottom. Easiest way to remember where the bottom is is to place your feature piece directly in that little chute. So I see which chute it'll go into and you may have to trim it up a little bit more um, just so that you can make sure it fits. So I'm, I've already cut most of these pieces down to size so that they could go ahead and 
um, be easily added, but I want to make sure that this one fits perfectly. So I stick it through there, hold it because I'm going to bend the little chute back up into itself and then find an area in the um, charger or makeshift wreath for it to bend back into. Um, and you may need a little help with that. So I do have bull nose pliers to help make sure I can bend these pieces correctly. So let's see how I think I want it to. So this is the actual wire. So I'm gonna cut this extra piece of plastic off that I only, I'm only working with the wire to go back through. I'm gonna use those pliers again. And stick it through there. Okay, perfect. So now it's secure. It's directly center of your wreath. And so now you can build upon. And my wreath will be open at the top, so all of my pieces actually going to go like so. So I'll bend the floral just a little bit to make sure it curves with the flow that I want and then I'll go and start weaving my pieces through. Just like that. And so you end up with something that's like that. And just keep going and weaving all your pieces through until you get to where you want to be.